Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. Today, I'll be taking a look at the New Age movie series, He's Watching You, Mr. Ooh, this is their first uh, stab at a MP scale. Uh, as you know, New Age does uh, mainly has done Legends. And so they're going to, you know, do a little something, something. So, yeah, nice little box. I'll throw back, kind of looks like an old 80s Japanese uh, cartoon or a commercial or something like that. That's pretty cool. And you got the New Age movie series. So, more likely they're going to do a couple more of these probably. And then on the back, you got that. Pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. Let's just get to the review. Yeah. All right, there is New Age Mista also known as Darker the Moon Soundwave in his alt mode. But before we do him, <laughs> uh, let's get on to see what they have, what he comes with, accessories. And first he comes with instructions. All right. Nicely detailed, all that stuff. Made in China. All right, awesome, awesome. And he comes with his weapon. Very nicely done. This is all painted. Really, really beautiful. Got some nice details in there. Some scroll work. You got some nice gold paint in there. When you fix some blast bumblebee in the back of the head. Very nice. Got a nice clip right there. Very nicely done. I like it. Like it a lot. Then he comes with two minions. So the first one, he got laser beak. He was in Dark of the Moon. And here he is. We'll just go over some articulation and everything. And uh, you know what he looks like. Very nicely scope work. Nice red paint for the eyes. Looks evil. Little chicken head. Chick, chick, chicken head. Chick, chick, chicken head. 36 Mafia, no? All right, so for the head, you can, he's on a ball joint, you look down, all the way around, you do the hokey pokey, and then his neck is on a ball joint as well, so it can move as well, so very nicely done on the head movement. Then you come to his, um, his wings, nice red paint, and love that cherry red right there, and so they can move up and down, like that, like that. I uh, wish they could, you know, swivel around, but they, you can't do that, but this is nicely painted silver, his wings, they can move hinge right there, one hinge, and then the same as well over there. Like I said, I wish they kind of could, you know, move around like that, you know, do a 360 or something like that. But, you know, it's still pretty decent movement for the uh, wings and everything. Then you got the little feathers back there. Nicely done, the cherry red. I love that. They do swivel, I mean, they do hinge up and down as well. That's really nice. The tail is on a ball joint right there. Moves around just like that. And then you got a hinge right there for its little... Spikes right there. Moving on down to the legs. They can, on a ball joint as well, they can go out a little bit. Move up and down. And then you got a ball joint for the feet as well. So they can move around. So very nicely articulated. I just, you know, that one part I wish it's swung around. And he's got the little, little, little pew pew guns under his belly. A little belly. But nicely done. Like that. There is laser beak. And then they threw in Ravage, which he wasn't, you know, with, uh, he was with Soundwave, but he was in the satellite mode. Uh, it's cool they threw it in, but, you know, he just wasn't in that movie. He was in Revenge of the Fallen, but beautifully done. I love it. Ravage is nice. Golden eye right there. You can't open up the mouth. Gar, gar. Very nicely done. So with the head movement, you got the head. He's on a ball joint, so you can move it all the way around, up and down. And you got a little... Movement right there too. That's on a ball joint. So very nicely done. Moving on down. Nicely. Then you got the nice gold accent right there for the uh, leg. So the leg can move all the way around like that. Out a little bit. It's on a ball joint. And does have a bend right there. And ball joint for the foot. Very nicely done. Then move over here down to the waist area, abdomen area. You can up and down. All side to side. Then you got a side to side right there. You move up and down like that. Tons of articulation. Very nicely done for a little. Then you got the guns. They can move up and down and all the way around. Really nicely done. The feet, you know, the legs back here. Same thing. They got ball joints out a little bit. Move up and, you know, back and forth. And bend at the knee. And then a bend, yeah, right there. A bend right there as well, too. And then you got a ball joint for the foot. Nicely done. You got a ball joint for the leg. I mean, for the tail. And then you got a hinge. One hinge right there. One hinge right there. Tons of articulation. Then you got this little thing flips out right there. Awesome, awesome, my God. This little thing has so much articulation and details and mm, just looks beautiful. 
So there they are. There's his two minions, Laser Beak and uh, Ravage. So that's what he comes with. All right, let's take a look at Soundwave and his alt mode, and it is, it is spectacular. It is beautiful. All this silver is painted, really nicely done. I love it, love it, love it, love it. You got the Mercedes emblem right there. You got the nice details in here. Really nicely done. You got the translucent white over there for the lights and the headlights. Got some nice sculpt work in there. Over there, nice chrome wheels. And they are rubber tires. They do roll. He does roll just fine. Really nicely done. Got some nice red paint in there. Really nicely done. You got the windows. So I kind of wish the front windows, see that's a little lighter. You got a little darker here, right there, and on the back. Kind of wish they would have done a little more uh, darker right there so you wouldn't be able to see. But see all those uh, speakers in there? It's just boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And these are hard plastic. Be careful. Everything, but nicely done. Oh, oh my God, it's beautiful. Nice little pink uh, tail lights. Everything. I mean, I don't know if they're going to be supposed to be a little darker red, but a little pink right there. That's probably movie accurate. Had to go back and watch it. But like I said, yeah, I wish that would have been kind of a darker tint so you couldn't see in there. But really nice done underneath. You can see some rubits, little areas, but it cleans up pretty good. But this is a beautiful car mode. And you can open up the doors as well so Carly can get out. Uh, this does bend right there just because of transformation, but you know, they're not going to do that in real life. But uh, you can't put anybody in there, so all compacted in there, but. It's pretty cool they threw that in, you know, a little option in like that. You just push them down and you close them. And this is a beautiful, beautiful alt mode. So there you go. Uh, Mista for New Age, um, also known as Soundwave, in his alt mode. And there he is next to the X-Trans Bot's dead end. A little stun So there you go for as far as scale. He's a big fella. So... There you go. Scale. And Crappagonics, a bottle of water and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, normally I do transformations. I apologize up front. I, this one just ate me up. Uh, the legs were just killing me. I tried it a couple of times. I, you know, I tried a couple of takes and everything, and I watched it over again. It just wasn't good at all. And I just, it was, it's really frustrating. The transformation was killing me. So I didn't put it in. I apologize up front. Uh, like I said, normally I do transformation, but this one just, uh, it just didn't. I thank God it didn't break it. It was good to go, but it just, it was really a hard transformation to put on camera. And once again, I apologize. So let's just get to articulation and sculpt work, okay? All right, there's Soundwave. And once again, I apologize for the transformation. I know I didn't do it. Normally do the transformation, but uh, this thing was just a pain in the ass transform. That's the only thing really negative I can say about it. It looks beautiful. Let's take a look at him, okay? So, um, well, first we'll put his weapon in. So he has two little slots right here, or two little pegs right there. And he has a two slots right there. So what you're going to do is just line them up. And then... Move the thumb out of the way, and you should be able to just slide it in there. Grab it like that. If you want to grab the thumb out, do that. And there you go. Hold his weapon just fine. Pretty cool. Like that. So move that out of the way. Man, this thing giving me fits. All right, let's take a look at this thing real quickly. Beautiful, like I said, beautiful head sculpt. You know, true to the you know the movie and everything. It's got some nice demon red eyes right there. Tons of details right here. Silver paint. You got some nice gold paint right there for an accent piece right there. It's a beautiful head sculpt. You know, if you like that movie and everything, so you can move. It's got a really nice range, so we can go, hey there, ladies. Ooh. So we can go all the way around, give you a little attitude as well. Look up all the way down there and look down. And the chin gets in the way a little bit, so you may have to move it back. But nice range of motion, but it's a beautiful head sculpt like that. Got some nice gold uh, accent pieces right there. Some nice detailed sculpt work right up there. Some nice blue paint right there. Looks good. The chest. It's got the Mercedes thing. These can move around, but they to be more movie accurate, you move them around like that. Like, really nicely done. 
these things back here you can move them a little bit around if you want to do that however you want to put that in as well so nicely sculpted so the arms awesome up to there all the way around uh, up to there like that you got a little more about 90 degrees for the elbow bend and it does have a bicep swivel but look at all the details look at the pistons the nice gold accent right here and there nice chromed out um, speakers but tons of nice details in there nicely done let's see you got that the fingers are well art articulated this is moved by itself it's got two points of articulation just like the other three fingers they have two points of articulation but yeah very nicely done but yeah i like that sculpt work in the arms and everything and the other arm is just the same like that all right moving on down nice little crotch area got some nice uh red paint and gold paint right there some nicely detailed you got waist rotation really nicely done moving on down you can kick up kick back he does have a thigh swivel these can move out of the way as well so you can do the van dam you can move these all the way be careful the paint i did i did scratch up a little here and there uh it's not too terrible but just be careful it does all painted but that's it for the legs nice and detailed in there all that gold right there and right there and over here you got the wires and everything and the pistons they're painted so nice and detailed there is some uh die cast i think these are die cast and some of the parts on the feet a little bit die cast and everything so pretty nice the knee you got 90 degree so you gotta move all this stuff out of the way Ugh. right there you got the knee pads moving on down the feet uh, you do have a rocker uh, and this moves around a little bit and these move around so you can get in different poses um, no toe tilt up or down or anything like that that's a shame but uh, you can move these all the way around and you can manipulate to try to fit whatever you need and they're nicely that's die cast right here and uh, you got some nice paint that silver paint right there and then the back nicely done you got the doors right there so you got some nice chrome area in there and then back here just a cluster of stuff just like bayverse you know you can't tell what part is what but it is beautifully made i mean it does look like sound wave from the movies so that's all you need so there you go there's new age mista sound wave quick scale reference there's a fan toys breakdown and you got a sea spray from x transbots there you go scale crapagonics a bottle of water some crappy toilet paper and squeaks for scale Doll. so let's talk about new age mista also known as dark of the moon sound wave lovely lovely piece i think it's a great start for new age to do this and everything the only negative thing is like i said earlier the transformation it killed me it was a terrible transformation not a fun transformation at all there's so many bits and pieces that get in the way uh and it just it ate me up that's why i didn't put the transformation in there normally i do but man it was just it was a terrible terrible transformation for me and like i said luckily i didn't break it so that's good but uh it was terrible but other than that it is a wonderful piece it looks like sound wave from the movie uh the paint is really good it scratched up on me a little bit in areas because you have to move so many stuff the doors you have to move out of the way the side panels and everything it was just get you know stuff was getting in the way so i did scratch up a little bit that really sucks you know but with the paint job like that you know sometimes it's just going to happen but it wasn't too bad uh, but yeah the paint is perfect i mean it's got a lot of paint and details and everything the car mode is awesome i love it. it's a beautiful mercedes uh, car really nicely done i like the alt mode i like the flip out doors and everything that's pretty cool the minions i love ravage and i love laser big i like ravage a little more but man they're really well articulated really fun little pieces i'm glad they threw them in it was awesome the gun is pretty cool i like that as well uh like i said the transformation is trashed with me uh the sculpt work is really nice like i said it looks like the movie uh sound has got some good articulation it's weird like i said you have to move spots you know place the stuff out of the way to move stuff you know and everything but it does have some decent articulation i like that i was able to get some good poses in there so uh the pictures were fun and everything so yeah overall I really am excited for what they're going to do. I hope they do some more, you know, movie verse stuff and everything. I hope they maybe tackle some G1 stuff too. That'd be pretty cool. But overall, I really like it. Just the transformation ate me up. But let's get on the floor and do some floor time. Won't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. So, like I said, really good start, you know, with this. Man, it's got some wonderful details, man. A lot of the pistons and 
the wire work and everything is really nicely done. It's just like there's pieces that get in the way, like in the legs. The legs were a pain in the ass to transform. That's what really tore me up, and that's why I didn't put the transformation in there. Apologize again, but man, it was just terrible. But overall, it's a nice figure. You know, it looks like Soundwave, like I said. Um, like I said, I hope they do some more. Uh, like I said, maybe tackle some G1 stuff and everything. But man, just a pain in the ass to transform. I mean, have you ever been like, you know, you're sitting there transforming anything, and it's a lot harder when you do it on camera as well. And I just, you know, normally I've been doing, you know, the transformations and everything, but this one, I just, oh, it just, it was frustrating. I was really getting mad. I'm glad I didn't break it. I thought I broke it a couple times, but it's, uh, it's good to go. But overall, nicely done. Got some nice uh, chrome work. You know, the details are really nicely done. I love the face sculpt. It's really good and everything. So really nicely done. All right, well, that was my review over the New Age Mista, also known as uh, Soundwave from Dark of the Moon. Uh, yeah, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Uh, hit me up with some comments. Tell me you thought of the review. Like I said, I know that I didn't do the transformation, but it'll be all right. And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, New Age Legends class. I hope that, uh, you know, I'm getting the, uh, uh, the camera, the reflector. I'm getting him soon, so I'll do a uh, review of that. And uh, as always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro. And good night, folks. Man, only a mother could love that face. Grr.